Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jasneet Singh aka Innovative Coder from Innovative Coder Workstation and today in this video we'll be talking about NumPy library, uh, we'll be focusing on NumPy library which is the main, which forms the main crux of machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, and deep learning, right? Okay, so uh, starting off with importing the libraries, so till now we have covered the basic syntax of Python, uh, lists, lists, dictionaries and uh, strings and all of that stuff. Uh, for loops, conditions, right? So now we'll be starting off uh, with importing the library. So for importing the libraries, this is the syntax. You just need to import the library name and uh, you can use uh, an alias version. So you can use AS as uh, to, uh, to, uh, to tell your uh, computer, to tell, uh, to tell the script that uh, from now on you'll be using M as, the, um, as, as, a, as an object of this math. Uh, math library to uh, use all the functions of that particular library so if I if I if I do something like this uh, if I directly do sqrt 10 so it will show me error because there is no function there is no uh, inbuilt function sqrt as such in Python but sqrt exists inside a library known as math so when I compile it, I get the square root of math, uh, square root of 10. So I, uh, I import the library, import math as m, and then I'll do m.sqrt, and uh, we have 10 as, uh, as a parameter, right? So, if, uh, so first thing first, if, if uh, uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you about something which, is, which comes very handy, which is a shortcut, so uh, whenever you are uh, using a library and if you don't know a function first thing is go to the official documentation and read about all the parameters and all the functions which you can use in a particular library but while using while uh, coding something if you uh, forget a function uh, if you forget the purpose of a function the uh, how uh, why do we need to use a function so you can press shift and then tab and then you get something this dialog box appears and here is a, a small uh, description about that particular function right so if we see about numpy so i import numpy as np and it will be imported right and the alias version is np so now we, we can specify np dot the function and the function which are inbuilt inside uh, numpy and we can use them uh, right out of the box okay so here i make a list uh, 1 2 and 3 is in string and uh, now I make it uh, now I make an np array a numpy array of that particular list okay so we'll talk about numpy arrays uh, in a while uh, so uh, so uh, uh, like I was telling you about the shift and tab so how now I press shift and tab and I get this complete uh, dialog box again I can press shift and tab to okay again I can press shift and tab to have it like this in, in a complete uh, like complete screen is covered by this particular thing by, by the documentation of numpy arrays right so you can see create an array and then uh, various parameters of numpy arrays right okay so uh, you can have this uh, you can have this thing which come which which comes very handy uh, so uh, like you will be seeing when you will be coding a thousand lines of code right okay uh, now, uh, particularly talking about uh, NumPy library, so NumPy library is basically coded in C++ and uh, which, which, makes it, which makes it extensively fast and like super fast because it is coded in C++ uh, first of all and, and uh, we have a Python wrapper uh, so we can use uh, NumPy in Python uh, using uh, import numpy as np but basically at the crux at the core level it is written in c++ which is why we uh, when we talk about uh, vectors and when we talk about all of that stuff where we need the fast the quick response of our uh, code we use numpy uh, arrays as compared to the list which we sh which we saw earlier right so they uh, sometimes uh, like you know underperform uh, while uh, you know doing a lot of uh, changes in lists and a lot of changes in matrices which we'll be seeing in further uh, coming videos right okay uh, so let's continue with functions of numpy and we have a list 1 2 and the string value of 3 and if we have one value as string then complete uh, complete numpy array converts as string 
like all the elements will convert will will get converted to string so uh, like here we have uh, here we have an array of uh, array of strings right so one is a string value two is a string value and three is a string value because it has the quotes around it right okay uh, some more functions if we want to make uh, a zeros like if we want to make an array uh, of 10 elements containing all the entries as zero so we can use zeros z z e r o s uh, right so you need to uh, like uh, have in mind the spelling because these sometimes these things make error right zeros same for ones if we want to fill uh, all the elements with one the same goes for one we can print this then there is something known as d type and if we do d type we'll get an nd array um, so oh, sorry we get an uh, numpy array uh, which which has value as in 64 right so we have integer values we have all the integer uh, values okay wait a minute we don't currently have integer values right because we haven't specified it uh, right now uh, where it is yep so if i print this then we get float values so you can see uh, like when when i made the uh, np.0s uh, these are 10 elements with zero values but there is zero point right so these values are all float currently and these all ones are float currently uh, but to specify them to uh, like uh, one thing is we can uh, type cast it using int and then uh, then the name of that particular array but uh, if we don't want to do that uh, if we don't want to do that we want to build it by scratch uh, like we want we want integer values uh, from by default so we can specify this parameter uh, in np.1s or in np.0s and then we can have the values so if we uh, do b dot d type or if i just simply uh, see what is b then we can have 1 1 1 so there is no decimal right okay then uh, you can have 2 by 3 2 cross 3 array to 2, 2d arrays with all float uh, values right so you can specify integer you can do all of that stuff okay so you can uh, specify any matters of any shape and any size uh, here right okay if we want to see the element which is at 0th row and first column so which is this one 0th row and first column and this is 0 uh, as uh, it is and uh, also the slicing the concept of slicing applies over here also so 2 to 4 we can get the elements from 2 to 4 2 to 3 basically uh, which is uh, like this is a start and this is end minus 1 right okay and th then we can also th see the shape of that particular array so shape of this array is 2 cross 3 right so 2 cross 3 2 comma 3 okay now what we do is we make an array we change the element uh, we uh, print the element we are uh, doing slicing uh, for so okay uh, we are not doing slicing here we saw the slicing part here so this is something this is uh, something like what we can do is here we are accessing all the rows so uh, okay so one thing which we need to understand is like uh, the the element which we which will uh, write before the comma indicates rows and after it will uh, give me the columns right so we have this np array 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, so the first row is 1 2 3 then we have 4 5 6 uh, like that and the first column we have is 1 4 1 4 right i hope you understand uh, this particular thing right okay so uh, here we are accessing the zeroth row so we get 1 2 3 now in this particular thing we are accessing so these column means this colon means all right so we are accessing all of the elements of row and zeroth column so if uh, if we see we have 1 4 1 4 right first entries of all the rows okay and here we have 0 and first row and uh, uh, the first entry of 0 and first zeroth and first row which are 1 4 right okay uh, seeing some operations on uh, seeing some numpy operations so we make two numpy arrays 1 2 3 and 5 6 7 uh, we add 2 to all the entries we can uh, we can do element wise adding summation element wise summation we can multiply the all the values with 2 right okay 
we can multi we can do element wise multiplication we can square the values and we can do element wise power also okay so yeah so now what we can also have is we can uh, have the mean value and summation of all the elements so mean value we have uh, a is 1 2 3 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3 gives us 2.0 right float value and a dot sum we have 6 right 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 so these are uh, uh, some of the functions which we'll be using in upcoming uh, videos when we'll be uh, doing the core uh, machine learning stuff okay uh, so, uh, so this is one thing which is known as matrix multiplication i am i uh, i assume that you are aware of what matrix multiplication is because uh, these concepts of matrices and all of these things which we uh, will be using uh, a lot in the in further videos right so uh, for matrix multiplication we have an inbuilt function dot dot right so we can specify first uh, matrix which we want to multiply with second matrix and then uh, we by using dot dot and uh, and giving the parameter as the matrix which uh, from with, with which we want to multiply we can have the uh, matrix multiplication right and also we can see uh, the documentation of this thing using shift and tab right okay okay so this was all for numpy uh, when we'll be using we'll be seeing all other functions so i'll tell you about them uh, at that uh, at that particular moment when we'll be using all of them i hope you like this video you like this session and uh, please don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button if you have not uh, done until now and you can also follow me on instagram and if you are uh, here from instagram only then uh, i thank you very much that you, that you followed me on instagram okay thank you gentlemen